Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. So, as we all know that XRP has grown up recently, uh, the equally well-known XLM token managed to show also rapid growth by more than 160%. So, do these events become a catalyst for a new bull market or what is the secret of one of the most inconspicuous networks called Stellar and who backs it up and stands behind it and how soon the patrons of XLM token will help it to reach top 10 or maybe even top five cryptocurrencies on coin market cap so let's figure it out all today and let's get started but before we start the reviews it is very important to distinguish between two concepts what is xlm and what is stellar stellar is a blockchain it is also a distributed ledger on which the entire infrastructure is built in turn xlm is a native coin of the stellar network it provides liquidity within the ecosystem and pays transaction fees it is also one of several cryptocurrencies that is used in the real sector of economy and not just for speculative purposes Initially, 100 billions of XLM were minted and annual inflation of 1% of the total supply was provided. Ambitious prices were announced for the distribution of more than 50% of the total emission to millions of ordinary people through airdrops and other distributions. However, in practice, the initially set tasks turned out to be inexpedient, and in November 2019, more than 50% of the issue was burned and the inflation model was cancelled. So the total supply has become 50 billions of pieces, and at the moment we have 54% of all XLM in the market. Stellar Development Foundation, which was founded in 2014, is planning and developing the Stellar blockchain and the company also took care of all issues related to development and this in turn, cooperation, advertising budgets, attracting new customers, companies, investments or buying startups, which can be integrated into Stellar ecosystem. The company's headquarters is located in San Francisco. A detailed list of management employees can be found on SDF's LinkedIn and it's more than 180 people. But I will tell you today about significant leaders who had a hand in this project. The first one is Keith Rabua, former director of Square and according to some news, also considered to be a member of the PayPal Mafia. Also we have Lin Hua Wu, she is a Vice President of Global Communications and Public Affairs at Google and currently she will be joining General Motors in August. Another significant person we have is Ronaldo Lamos, he enters the Board of Directors of Mozilla Foundation and is a member of the Facebook Supervisory Boards. And last but not the least, uh, Jade McCaleb, who stood at the origins of Ripple creation. He took part in the creation of Stellar project. Is McCaleb preparing a killer for XRP? Often sounded and continued to come across such headlines in the media. Personally, my opinion is nothing more than marketing headlines than have nothing to do with reality. These two projects can exist in parallel because they have different sectors of interest. I agree that at the initial stage Stellar worked on the Ripple protocol, it was a modified copy of the blockchain. But later a new consensus protocol was created. Stellar consensus protocol is very simple and can be described in one offer. Ripple was created for banks and corporate clients and Stellar for the development of CBDC and retail clients. As you may have noticed earlier, XRP and XLM cryptocurrencies were closely related with each other and the news that Ripple won the court, even a dubious one, also pumped the XLM price by more than 100% without much hype from Stellar. But is everything so good now with the project and why is XLM token needed at all? Let's figure it out. XLM cryptocurrency is a native coin of the blockchain. This means that it is native to the blockchain and cannot be replaced by any other within this blockchain. Unlike the XRP coin, the XLM coin participates in all network transactions. Stellar provides security and liquidity within the ecosystem, including for other tokens that run on that blockchain. And what is the cost of the commission in the Stellar network and what is the bandwidth of the blockchain? In simple words, without complex mathematics, the commission on the network is equal to 0.001 cent. 
which makes transactions almost free. And at the same time, Stellar can stand out with a network bandwidth of around 1000 transactions per second. It takes from 3 to 5 seconds to confirm a transaction. Undoubtedly, there are cryptocurrency projects that claim a throughput of tens of thousands of transactions per second, but during the burst of activity in their networks, blockchains like Solana, uh, they just cannot handle it. So, which doesn't happen to Stellar blockchain. The blockchain also has a number of independent marketplaces, Stellar NFT and Lightmint. In October, the company announced the launch of the Sorobon smart contract writing platform. This fact indicates that this or next year developers will be able to create applications of the type that already work on the Ethereum network. The centralized exchanges are also deployed on that blockchain. Since 2021, blockchain has been intensively developing state digital currencies and they are CBDCs. The first one was Nigeria, which issued electronic Naira. Also in 2021, the CBDC of Eastern Caribbean Central Bank called Dcash is placed on the basis of Stellar. Following this news, in 2022, Stellar enters into a partnership with the National Bank of Ukraine, which was announced not only by the National Bank, but also by SDF. Also, the Ministry of Digital Transformation of Ukraine signed the Memorandum of Understanding and Cooperation with SDF. And in November 22, the National Bank of Ukraine presented a draft concept of the national digital currency, the electronic Grivna. One of the latest news from Stellar is a partnership with American state fund Franklin Templeton, which will help the company process transactions and register share ownership on the blockchain. All transactions will be carried out through the BNG investment app. On the territory of the European Union, Stellar is already used in the real sector of economy, Tempo, payment service, registered in France and has a corresponding license from the Central Bank of France. Money transfers are carried out through the blockchain. In fact, Stellar is the fiat gateway in Europe. Velo is a global payment network with its own Velo token. Let me remind you that Stellar Foundation previously joined the advisory committee of the US uh, Commodity Futures Trading Commissions as well. And now we're slowly moving to the price analysis, but first let me remind you what a CBDC really is. We were told that this is the future, but the real goal of the government is to gain total control over citizens. As Christine Lagarde let slip earlier, that the digital euro is about total control of payments. So, and at the end, let's uh, quickly figure out uh, and analyze what is the growth prospects of the XLM token are and how far we can still fall if a deeper correction occurs. So, let me remind you that this is not a financial advice. My opinion regarding this token is uh, that is no different from XRP. Both instruments are very, very manipulative because most of the emission is in the same hands. If the asset manage, manages to continue to pump and consolidate above the resistance of uh, 20 20 cents, we have a chance to go to the next zo zones at both uh, 30 and 40 cents. As for the hopes for the next bull market, then the main task here is to break the highs of the previous cycle, which equals a growth of uh, 10x. After that we will look at the situation, but in fact it is very hard to believe that in such a market we will soon be able to see continued growth. Of course, if XRP doesn't fly off by $1.5 and Bitcoin doesn't go to $35,000, then there will still be chances. So it is logical to consider a correction scenario as well at the moment, because the entire recent pump may well be reset to zero and the rate will return back to uh, 10 cents or even lower. And in the event of uh, further correction, we can even see levels uh, such as 5 cents uh, or even 7 cents. Everything will depend on the depth of Bitcoin drawdown. There is even a scenario that seems completely unbelievable, but a price of 1 cent is also quite possible. Because early investors will still be in a good plus. Yes, even at a rate of half a cent, they will feel rich with a profit of around 10,000%. There is a very popular theory on the crypto market how whales, funds, founders and other scary manipulators deliberately dump the price, deliberately taking coins from weak hands and only then start real growth. That's true, if they decide to do this and drop the rate to 1 cent, but uh, at the same time I have very little idea how many resources will then have to be used uh, to force at least someone to invest in this coin back again. 
And lastly, guys, I wanted to show you a very interesting tool that I found on CoinStats. So basically here, uh, you can choose a coin that you would like to purchase. Uh, you can purchase the amount. Uh, for example 10 uh, then we have the current buy price and the sell price so at the moment xlm is trading on of about 16 cents but let's get back to a couple of days earlier when it was around nine or even eight cents uh, sorry like this so and if we invested like one thousand uh, dollars literally several days ago we would have already had profit of uh, eleven hundred of dollars uh, at the moment but as I said previously, I really think that XLM has a very wonderful future and uh, we can reach absolutely significant values, uh, for example, $1. So in that case, investments, original investments of $1,000 will bring us $11,500 on top. It's crazy, right? So I do really expect the price uh, to get back to its original values because of the further corrections and uh, dump on the whole cryptocurrency market. And I will be able to purchase more XLM in my own portfolio. But as I said previously, in 2025, uh, on the next cycle, uh, in the next bull run, uh, I think XLM will overwrite uh, previous highs and will reach uh, absolutely different values, uh, maybe two or even three dollars. And especially if uh, XLM is developing rapidly and uh, it goes towards mass adoption, we can see like $5 or even $10 for one XLM. And let's see if you invest $1,000 at the moment at a price of uh, 0.8 cents. And uh, later on, you will be able to sell it of about $10. So it's a significant amount, $124,000 of profit. And it's just $1,000 of investments. What if you do five, for example? I think five is pretty affordable for everybody, but not uh, as a first order. You can accumulate this amount and uh, and buy coins within a specific period of time, for example, during several months. So $5,000 at a price of zero cent will give you $620,000 of profit in a few years. That's a life-changing money, guys. I know that you all would like to see such prices and I really hope the market will be able to give us them during the next bull run. So that was it from my side today. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like, hit a comment in case if you want to see more overviews of the projects later on. And I'll see you in the next videos.